Haroon and the Sea of Stories Summary The novel opens in a sad city in the country of Alif Bey, where Haroon Khalifa leaves with his father, a famous storyteller, and his mother. One day, Haroon arrives home from school to learn that his mother has run off with his upstairs neighbor. This neighbor had often been critical of Haroon's father, Rashid, because he did not understand the usefulness of stories. In anger, Haroon assails his father for the uselessness of his stories. This crushes his father. Haroon finds it difficult to concentrate on schoolwork and so his father decides to take him on a storytelling job he is performing for some politicos in the land of G and the Valley of K. When Rashid attempts to tell his stories, however, no words come out, and the politicos get very mad. Haroon and Rashid board a mail bus bound for the Valley of K. It is driven by a parrot-looking man named Butt who stutters and speaks in riddles. Rashid makes a deal with Butt to drive them on the dangerous road between the land of G and the Valley of K. Butt drives dangerously and Haroon is worried that he will die. When they reach the beautiful sights of the Valley of K, Rashid tells Haroon that it all reminds him of Katam Shud, an ancient concept that means silence. When they reach K, Haroon and Rashid meet Mr. Batu, the politician, who takes them to his boat on the dull lake. As they depart on the lake, they are engulfed in a thick mist. The mist smells very bad and Haroon realizes that it is a mist of misery brought on by his father's foul mood. When the sea begins to rock, Haroon tells everyone to think good thoughts, and when they do, the sea calms. Haroon and Rashid reach the yacht that will take them to their destination the next day. The yacht is very luxurious, but both Rashid and Haroon have difficulty sleeping. Just as Haroon dozes off, he hears a noise in his bedroom. He finds an old man with an onion-shaped head, who disappears as soon as he sees Haroon. The old man drops wrench, which Haroon confiscates. The old man materializes and tells Haroon he is if the water genie, and he must have the wrench to turn off the story stream for his father, Rashid. When Haroon protests, F tells him to take it up with the walrus in Gup City, Kahani. Haroon demands that the water genie take him there, and F reluctantly concedes in order to get his wrench back from Haroon. The genie tells Haroon to pick a bird and give it a name and it will materialize. He pulls out a handful of tiny magical creatures. Haroon picks the hoopoe and if throws it out the window and into the water where it balloons into a huge bird. They climb on its back and accelerate into space. The hoopoe looks like Mr. Butt, so Haroon names it Butt the Hoopoe. They are able to communicate telepathically. But the hoopoe lands on the sea of stories of Kohani, Earth's second moon, which moves so fast it is undetectable by human instruments. It evenly distributes story water across the Earth. They land in the ocean so that if can give Haroon wish water and hopefully bypass meeting the walrus. Haroon drinks the wish water and wishes for his father's storytelling to return. He can only focus on an image of his mother, however, and after 11 minutes, he loses his concentration. If then gives Haroon a cup of water from the sea that contains a story, Haroon drinks it and then finds himself looking through the eyes of a hero in a princess rescue story. As the hero climbs the tower to rescue the princess, he turns into a spider and princess backs away at him until he falls to the ground. When Haroon wakes from his story, if tells him that someone named Katam Shud is poisoning the stories. Haroon, but the Hoopo, and if the water genie fly to the land of Gup, where they meet Mali, the water gardener and the plenty more fishes. The entire land is preparing for war. The Chupwillers have stolen Princess Bachit from Gup. In addition, they have polluted the sea of stories so that many do not make sense anymore. Prince Bolo, General Kitab, and the Walrus announce their plans for war to the pages of the Guppy Library, or, army. They bring in a spy with a hood over his head. When the hood is removed, Haroon sees his father. Rashid tells everyone that he transported to Kahani and was in the Twilight Strip when he saw the Princess Bachit captured. The Chupwillers have come under the spell of Cultmaster Katam Shud who wants to sacrifice her to Bizabun, an idol of silence. 
Prince Polio and General Kitab declare war on Chup and Rashid offers to guide them to the Chupwala encampment. One of the soldiers in the army, Blabamath, takes Harun to his room. They become lost and Harun knocks the hat off Blabamath's head. Long hair falls out and Harun sees Blabamath is a girl. She then entertains him with a juggling act. The army sails towards Chup, chattering about the causes for the war in a way that Harun thinks might be mutinous. They enter the land of darkness and land on the beach. They explore the interior and come upon a dark warrior fighting his own shadow in a kind of seductive dance. The man realizes he is being watched and comes to find the trespassers. The shadow begins to speak. It croaks out unintelligible words until Rashid realizes the warrior is speaking in an ancient gesture language. Rashid interprets the warrior's talk. His name is Midra and he had been second in command in Chup. He is now fighting against Katam Shud in order to bring peace back to Chup. Midra agrees to help the Guppies defeat Katam Shud. Harun volunteers to spy for the army because of his love of stories. He, if, but the Hoopo, Mali, and the plenty more fishes begin to trek towards the old zone. The water becomes so poisonous that the fish cannot go on. The remaining crew is suddenly ambushed and captured in nets. They are taken to a giant, black ship. On the deck are cauldrons of poison. To Harun, it looks like everything is impermanent, like a shadow. Katam Shud appears and he is a tiny, weasley, measly man. Harun realizes that this is Katam Shud's shadow that has detached from its owner. The cult master tells them that stories are inefficient and useless and that is why they are being destroyed. The ship's hull is full of darkness and machines too complicated to describe. The cult master shows them where they are building a great plug to seal the story source at the bottom of the sea. Harun sees roots growing through a port window and Mali appears, latching onto the generators and breaking the machines. Harun breaks free, puts on a protective wetsuit, and dives down into the sea where he sees the plug being constructed. He returns to butt the hoopoe and takes out a vial of wish water given to him by Eve. He drinks it and wishes that the axis of Kohani would spin normally. A few minutes pass and then the entire land is bathed in sunlight. All of the shadows on the ship begin to fade away and soon everyone is free and the poison is destroyed. In Chup, Kat Damshud sends an ambassador to the Guppy army. The ambassador begins to juggle and pulls out a bomb. Only Blabbermouth's quick action keeps everyone from being blown up, but it is revealed that Blabbermouth is a girl in the process. Bolo tries to fire her, but Mudra asks her to be a part of his army because of her bravery. The battle between the army commences. Because the Guppies have had such open and honest communication, they fight as a team. The Chup Willers, because of their silence, distrust each other. The Guppy army overwhelms the Chupwala army. As the battle ends, there is a great earthquake and the moon begins to spin. The statue of Bazibun falls and crushes the real Katam Shud. Peace is declared and everyone receives a promotion within their rank. Harun prepares to leave and is told that he must see the walrus. In the walrus's office, Harun learns that it is all a joke and that he is not in trouble. All his friends are there with him. The walrus tells him that for his bravery he is to be given a happy ending to his story. Harun doubts that this is possible, but he wishes for his city to no longer be sad. He wakes up back in the Valley of K where his father is preparing his political story. As he stands up to give it, his father tells the story of Harun and the Sea of Stories. It is a story that the crowd loves and they turn against their autocratic leader, Mr. Batu. When Rashid and Harun return home, it is raining and they walk through it getting soaked. All of the people in the sad city are dancing and Harun asks why. They claim that the city has remembered its name, Kahani, which means story. Harun realizes that the walrus has put a happy ending into the raindrops. When he arrives home, he finds his mother there telling them that she made a mistake in running off with Mr. Seng Gupta. The next day, Harun awakes to find it as his birthday and his mother singing in another room in the house. The End